All right, I've been making some progress on my uh, work with uh, broadcasting uh, wireless transmission of electricity. I'm going to try to go over uh, AM radio frequencies to try to explain and describe how this all works uh, the best I can. Uh, this isn't going to be easy for everyone to understand, and it's not going to be easy for me to explain either, but I'll do my best. So here we go. Okay, this is a radio right here that I took apart, and here's the oscillator, here's the antenna, and the way the oscillator works is it has uh, these flat plates just like this, and they're either, you can either turn them to open like this, or you can turn them to be closed like this. And wherever you have this set, that's the frequency in which you're going to be broadcasting on. And what I've learned is that uh, AM frequencies actually transmit electrical power, but they transmit very, very little electrical power. And uh, I'll demonstrate that with this little radio right here. Right now it's on an AM frequency, and see how the light went off? This is now operating on its uh, rechargeable battery dynamo system. It's it's three batteries, three little AAA batteries that uh, that get uh, recharged by this crank handle here. And what I've noticed is that the batteries that I can put in here are two AA's. And when I switch over to the AA battery. The radio actually keeps working even with the light, even with the light on, but the the light never comes on. So it, the batteries actually don't have enough power to run the light, but because it's receiving uh, enough voltage from the AM transmission that it can go through these batteries, and these batteries are kind of acting like capacitors. So when the electricity goes through the batteries, it it uh, builds up the charge. So I'm going to guess that uh, the transmission that AM frequencies can transmit is somewhere between 1.5 and 3 volts, but that's all they transmit because when you are transmitting at AM frequencies, it's called ampli amplitude modulation. And when you, the more voltage that you increase in your broadcasting system, the farther the distance can go but if you increase the voltage too much you'll get a spark between your plates and your oscillator and then the the broadcasting signal will uh, will be scrambled so in order to transmit uh, electrical power wirelessly you have to have a lot of voltage going through an oscillator like this that vibrates a, a large coil like this with electricity at a certain frequency and when you have the microphone and you're speaking into the microphone then the voltage uh, varies it goes up and down with uh, the electricity that it receives from somebody speaking into a microphone see the the voices that go through the microphone get changed into a electrical current that makes the voltage go up and down or it makes it makes it uh, go up depending on uh, uh, the sound that you're putting through the radio broadcast system. So you're at a specific frequency and you put an X amount of voltage through here and you have this connected to the microphone that then it either increases or decreases the voltage depending on how much power you're putting into the microphone through the system and then it gets broadcasted through um, a wire like this so it's kind of like a Tesla coil. It's got the the transformer, the high voltage transformer, the oscillator that's like a capacitor. It's got the thick coil that then resonates at whatever the frequency the capacitor sets it to. And then you get the two thin copper wires that go and broadcast that signal through here. And you have another coil that's not connected to this wire but is... Uh, very close to the uh, coil of wire so it, it, it makes like a, an oscillating signal like an electromagnet and this is the wire that connects to the 
aerial antenna. This is going to be the coil that I send up the aerial antenna. So the, the, the antenna actually is just responding to an electromagnet signal that the oscillator and the capacitor makes. So uh, that's how radio broadcasting works. And the problem with trying to transmit more voltage or more power is that the, when you increase the voltage and increase the power, you end up getting a spark in your transmission equipment. And that scrambles the signal. So I discovered that one of the problems with trying to increase electrical power with an AM broadcasting frequency is that you need to have no spark in this broadcasting equipment here. So I think my hypothesis on how this is all going to work is that the Tesla coil is going to increase the power and voltage after the oscillating AM frequency is established. So you get your frequency set up and aligned, then you start transmitting power, and then you have the signal uh, set. You have your broadcasting frequency established, and this coil here is going to be responding to that. It's going to be like an electromagnet being close to another wire, so the wire is going to oscillate the same as this. The difference is that this coil is not directly connected to this coil. So you're going to have one wire going from one end of the oscillator, and it's going to be going through the coil, and then the other end is going to be grounded. And this coil, one end is going to be up in the air, as for the aerial antenna and the other end is going to be grounded. And what Tesla called this was he called it the magnifying transmitter. And what it's going to do, I believe, is that once you get your signal established here and this wire is responding to that, you then have a grounded and aerial antenna wire that has that same signal being broadcasted but the difference is that it's not directly connected with the broadcasting frequency equipment. So then you can use a Tesla coil to then strike the antenna coil and it'll start resonating the antenna wire at the frequency of uh, more voltage and more electrical power. You see, I'm, I'm coming to believe that the way this all works is that you're getting these copper materials to vibrate or resonate with electricity. Like you imagine uh, being able to strike this with electricity and it get and it vibrates a certain number of times a second. Well you're kind of doing the same thing here. You're making a signal, a set signal that is going to be vibrating the aerial wire and it's going to be sending the vibrating signal into the ground as well. But the only way to increase voltage and power without causing a spark in this equipment is by using the Tesla coil to strike the coil that's not directly connected to the broadcasting equipment. That way this can continue to broadcast at a specific uh, signal and the Tesla coil can then uh, amplify the amount of power and the amount of voltage that's being broadcasted. And this uses uh, 4.5 volts with the rechargeable batteries and it only uses 3 volts with this and for some reason uh, I've tested this number of times it, the the batteries that are in there the the two double A's are are dead I, I ran them out completely and when I put them in here it seems like that the light won't work, but the AM radio still works, and it never seems to go out. It, it seems to stay on. The batteries never seem to run out. So what I think is what the batteries are doing is they're acting like uh, DC capacitors. See, the, the radio signal comes in at a certain voltage, and then it starts charging the battery's um, voltages. And it's only a certain amount of voltage. And it's very little, it's only like 1.5 to 3 volts, which is enough to run the radio, uh, enough to make a tiny little LED light light up, 
but in order to get more voltage and more power you need to be able to cause a electrical spark in the broadcasting equipment but it cannot be transferred into this oscillating part of the equipment though because if a spark happens in this part of the equipment then the signal is muffled but if you are able to broadcast the signal and then increase the power and voltage without the spark getting into this equipment then the frequency signal should remain the same and the extra voltage and power which is just a vibrating frequency you're just sending an electrical current to this wire and you're making it vibrate with more volts and more power and it's already vibrating at this broadcasting frequency so it's just going to increase the voltage and power I believe and the way it works is uh, I'm guessing since you need three volts to run this then if you get four times as much voltage going through the Tesla coil then that is going through the broadcasting system so that'll be three times four so that should be 12 volts so I'm thinking that maybe what how this all works is that it broadcasts enough voltage in order to charge like a 12 volt car battery and then you can use a power inverter to then uh, change it into uh, 120 volt and start using it like a car battery with a power inverter and the way that the voltage gets increased is with the transformers the transformers then increase voltage in the capacitors but that just increases voltage and it, it doesn't increase power and what I'm pretty sure increases power is the rotary spark gap see once you get voltage increased and you get discharges happening at a higher voltage you then need to have the, the electricity vibrating at a certain frequency that gives it more power behind it so by the spark going through this stationary copper ring and then getting going into this rotating um, fan motor the, the power then gets uh, uh, pushed into momentum so what what so depending on how fast this is going it, it, it it'll increase the power that the uh, uh, broadcasting signal is being sent out at so I'm pretty sure that the volt the transformers increase the voltage along with the uh, uh, copper coils of the Tesla coil so that's how you get more voltage without causing a spark in the broadcasting equipment that muffles the signal and in order to get more discharge power behind that voltage you then use the rotary spark gap transmitter to then have more of a discharge and it also puts the current into motion so when it when it gets into the primary coil the current is getting pushed uh, into in, with more momentum once it goes through the rotary spark gap you can't even imagine like the the current is going at a certain rate but once it hits this it then gets pushed um, uh, it go it's it gets a little it goes a little faster with this you know what I'm saying it's like it's like going past a you know something that makes it go you know a booster this is kind of a boost for the power and the signal the transformers boost the voltage the capacitors boost the amount of discharge and this boosts the amount of power behind the current and this all gets sent to the coil that is not directly connected to the AM broadcasting frequency coil and I'm pretty sure that's how it works but I don't have it all, all I don't have all the wiring hooked up yet to uh, have a demonstration I still need to get a long tall pole to put this up an aerial antenna and I still need to ground all the wires and connect them all but um, I'm pretty sure this is how it all works you got uh, the radio broadcasting equipment and you only have a certain limit of voltage that you can put through this so that's only a limitation this this basically controls the distance and how far the signal is going to be going out the more voltage you can put into this the farther the signal can go and the more voltage you can put into this 
the more voltage you can receive in uh, with that uh, certain signal but in order to get power behind it you need to have uh, discharging capacitors and a rotating spark gap transmitter to increase the flow of the current so this is going to increase the discharges these transformers increases the voltage and this increases the flow of current or, or the the power behind the current and this well I think the, the capacitors increase the power behind the current but this increases the flow of current and so it um, it can actually uh, um, be picked up at a higher amplitude see that's what AM frequency actually stands for it stands for amplitude modulation and once you're at a certain frequency whatever voltage goes up and down at that certain frequency that's what you detect you could it, there's a there's a uh, a type of radio called crystal radio, and it's the uh, it's a radio that has no battery that you just put a copper wire up in the air and you set it to a little diode that has uh, germanium in it and it makes electrical current only go in one direction much like the batteries in this the batteries in this only allow electrical current to go in one direction and it's picking up the discharges and the amount of voltage of the broadcasting equipment. So I think the problems with trying to transmit uh, higher levels of power is that you don't want a spark to happen in the broadcasting equipment. You want to apply the spark later with the uh, coil that's connected to the antenna and the ground wire and not directly connected to the oscillating frequency coil wire so you see how you can kind of see how all this works it's it's it, this is the oscillating frequencies not directly connected so that's wireless the voltage or amplifying transmitter is not directly connected to the antenna wire so this is I think this is how the wireless transmission setup is supposed to work but I don't have it all hooked up for a demonstration yet and uh, when I get the, all this hooked up, I should be able to have a demonstration to post up sometime after this video. Um, I have run short on my own funds for these projects, so it may take some time to get up a demonstration video because I, I need to test my broadcasting uh, setup first. I need to get a microphone and... and uh, make sure the broadcasting system works before I try to increase the voltage and power behind it and I still got to get an antenna and and things like that so this is the project that I'm currently working on and uh, I would I would have it done sooner but uh, I'm all out of my own money so uh, just wanted to post this video for my progress on wireless transmission and hopefully uh, if I can get any help with uh, with the funding for my work here, I might be able to finish or continue sooner. So uh, right now, the only thing that's holding me back is the funding. Okay, so that's my video for my progress on uh, how the setup goes for the wireless transmission of electrical power. And hopefully soon, if I get some help with the money situation I'm in I should be able to have a working demonstration to show sometime soon in my next videos okay alright thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you soon